Hello good day viewers. In our previous lesson, we are able to drive the psi rule formula. So in this tutorial, we are going to drive the cosine rule formula. Before we drive the formula, let me illustrate. Suppose we have a triangle like this. For you to use cosine rule formula, an angle, either it is missing or present, together with its opposite side lengths, must be included in that formula. So the formula stated that, for instance, if you are looking for this side length, you say that a squared is equal to b squared, you know that this is b, this is c, right? Plus c squared minus 2 multiplied by b multiplied by c multiplied by cosine of that angle opposite to the side you are looking for. So it implies that if you are looking for this side length a, this angle must be given, right? And if you are looking for this angle theta, this side length and this other two must be given for you to use this formula. So you can see that to use this formula, you need this, this, and inclusive angle for you to find this side length. And if you are looking for this angle, these three other sides must be given. So now let us see how we can drive this formula. Very important formula. Suppose we have a triangle like this. This is C. This is B and this is A, right? I would like to draw a line perpendicular to the line BC from A. Something like this. There by forming a right angle triangle here. This is a right angle triangle. So if from here down here is A, I would like to call this R. That is from B down to this point. I think I should call it D. So what will be the side length here? It must be A minus R. Since a portion of A has been taken by R, this must be A minus R, something like this. All right. Then the first step here, I would like to find the sine and cosine of this angle B. So let's find it. Sine of B, remember it is equal to what? Opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So the opposite is this height of the triangle which is missing. Let me call it H. So the opposite will be H divided by C, right? And you can multiply both sides by C, thereby having H to be equal to C multiplied by sine of B. Let me call this equation number one. And secondly, I would like to find the cosine of that angle, cosine of B. This is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. This is adjacent, this is hypotenuse, right? So we have the adjacent sine divided by the hypotenuse C, which implies that R is equal to what? Uh, C multiplied by cosine of B. This is our second equation. Now I would like to relate H, A minus R and B using Pythagorean theorem, which stated that hypotenuse squared, which is B squared, is equal to H squared plus A minus R whole squared, right? So B squared is equal to h squared plus uh, if you expand this you have the first term squared uh, minus 2 times a times r that is 2 a r then plus r squared that is the expansion of that so this is our equation number 30 now i would like to substitute equation 1 and equation 2 into equation number 30 let me write it here so we have to the left hand side of equation number 30 b squared equal to what is h squared this is h if you square that it's like squaring the right hand side of this so we have c sine b so this is c sine b but since it has a power of 2 we raise it to the power of 2 then plus a squared minus 2a multiplied by r right what is r r is c cos b right so we have c cos b then plus r squared r is c cos b again but this time around squared c cos b whole squared so let's simplify b squared is equal to c squared sine squared b because this has to take power of 2, likewise this one. Then plus a squared minus 2ac 
cos b right if you expand this then lastly we have plus c squared cos b cos squared b that's what we have so i would like to join these and these together we have b squared equal to let me write this one first we have a squared plus let me write this one which is c squared sine squared b then i write this one plus c squared cos squared b then i have minus 2 ac cos b right let me further break it down this is b squared equal to a squared plus c squared is in common here right so we factor out c squared inside we have sine squared b plus cosine squared b which is an identity minus 2 ac cos b all right remember that sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of an angle equals one i think we have proven this in our previous lesson so the whole of this will be equal to one so all we have here is b squared equal to a squared plus c squared times one is c squared minus two ac cos b so this is the cosine rule formula in terms of b once you are looking for this side length remember you do the same thing if you are looking for a and c so if it is a you are looking for it will be a squared equal to then you switch a and b you have b squared plus c squared minus 2 uh, bc then cos a this time around that is for a if you are looking for c it will be c squared equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 a b then cos c these are the three important formulas i think you can drive this too by reshuffling these um, sides and angles Thank you for watching. Do share to your and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.